Hello, Matt Fies. Actually, one of my clients on Zoom lesson sent this question to me, you know, uh, under quantitative reasoning. So, when I saw the question first, it's, it looks funny until I understood the trick behind that. So, and I said, let me show my audience. It may be very useful for you. Now, looking at this, how will 3 plus 3 plus 3 give you 1? That makes me to know that the inverse of 3 plus 3 plus the inverse of 3 will give me 1. How? Let me further it. You know that this also means 1 over 3 plus 1 all over 3 plus 1 all over 3. And uh, it implies... When I find the LCM, I will have 3. 3 divided by 3 will give us 1. 1 multiplied by 1, 1. Same rule goes in all of them. And I'm going to have 3 all over 3, which can further divide themselves, and I will have 1. That is why we have 1 here as the answer. Kindly like, comment, and share so that this video will go viral to enable other students out there especially in quantitative reasoning aspects. Thank you. Remember, come close. Become a math fan today. Thanks a lot.